it's Zach. Welcome back to the Heroverse. And guys, this will be our spoiler review for Legacies uh, Season 4, Episode 15, called um, Everything That Can Be Lost May Also Be Found. It literally is a mouthful. Like, I tried saying it, like, a couple of times, like, and it's just a mouthful of a title of an episode. But it's a really great title of the episode because we, like, it's, this is a really touching episode to really finally get back hope in this episode. Um, to get, turn, So she puts on back her, on her humanity. So... I really enjoyed this episode, but of course, as you guys know, um, I always let Annie start first on what she liked about this episode. This was an episode I know Annie really enjoyed, but Annie, what'd you like about this episode? Okay, so the reason why I like the episode is because I am a big, big fan of Michael Sim family. Like, everybody yeah. in the family. Like, I was kind of upset we didn't see Klaus. I was hoping we'd see him, but we saw Rebecca, we saw Freya, we saw Cole, and we saw Martel. Yeah. For you guys who have seen the originals, you know that Marcel is Klaus's son. His adopt, his adopt, his adopt, adopt. Adopted. Yeah, son. Yeah. So those of you guys who watch the originals, you know who Marcel is. Rebecca and Freya are his sisters. Cole is his brother. And there was a lot of interesting stuff that went down in this episode. There was, there was a lot of interesting stuff. Yeah, Rebecca was saying that... Well, Freya was saying that Rebecca was telling her what was going on with Hope. Yeah, like like how... how well, pretty much, the funny thing is, I, I, that I thought was funny, is that Freya was there when when uh, when uh, Hope turned off her humanity, kind of convinced her to do that. Yeah. Or, or kind of convinced her to do the transition, right? To... To, yeah, she, like, to activate her vampire powers, right? Yeah. yeah, like, kind of convinced her to do that, which led to, as we all know, her turning off her humanity. So, she, in a way, kind of blames um, and, and, Freya and, for that, and, so... And with vampires, at, at, like, they, some of them all, at, like, a certain point, they will turn it off, mm -hmm. but then later on, they turn it back on. Which we've seen. So, I'm waiting for it to turn hers off. I'm waiting. That's gonna all bro. That's gonna be like a mess of things if, if that happens. Like, we it. thought she Hope have... was bad. Oh, I don't know what Lizzie would act she's like. She's gonna have it. She's so. Oh, the, she, oh, she might be ten times worse. Her but I don't think she'd ever do that. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Her, her episodes are bad. Especially because, as we all know, but I feel like that's too convenient if, like, we just got Hope turning back on her humanity in this episode. And then Lizzie turns, and then her Lizzie turns hers off. But I, as we know that there's two people that have to die in the outcomes of what uh, the previous episode. I don't want to be Caleb. I do not which want to be Annie Caleb. watched the episode, but she wasn't in the review for that. Uh, but Because that work. Yeah, so that was interesting to me that two people have to die. In, in the outcomes of them fighting the gods. So I'm interested to see who that who they will be. I already know who one will be after the events of Caleb taking Cleo to go see... What was her name, Annie, again? I, I, I didn't quite hear what her name was. Was it like May Lee or... Maylin. Maylin. Yeah, Something I think like that was that. her name. If that was her name. And she actually can see the future. And she, like, uh, Caleb wanted to take uh, Cleo to see uh, Maylin. Uh, so she would, right so they would be able name. to figure out... Or, so Malin would be able to figure out what's wrong with Cleo's abilities, and you know what I mean. And and, and she saw something and went to Caleb. But was he? She, she was... kind of did, saying that like the uh, Mystic Falls is destroyed, the school is destroyed, and you know a lot of their friends died. Meaning, I think she's keeping it from him that he one of the, he's one of the people that die. And I think it will just be those two people, and I think it will be Caleb. That's my prediction. And no. also, I think it might be either Ethan or MG. It would be really crazy if it was MG, but I feel like it could be a cool way of kind of like doing a redemption arc for Ethan, especially after everything that's happened between Ethan and MG, if he would make that sacrifice. Because I feel like there'd be a moment where like Lizzie would almost die in the moment, and either Ethan and MG in the pact that they made that they wouldn't let, you know, Lizzie be, be one of those two people that die. And that's what I'm thinking. I could see Ethan taking one for the team, you know, to protect Lizzie, but also, like, to protect MG yeah. from not doing it. Or I could see MG doing it and then Lizzie turning off her inhumanity. That would be very interesting. But I don't think they would do that, though. I don't want to talk about a lark. Yeah. I'm pissed. I'm just going to say that right now. I, 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 I'm shocked you're pissed because I was talking to Annie, and I'll let you explain what he does when he kind of has a talking to, like, his younger self, which okay. was interesting to me. So, 
If you don't get him with the, the crystal... Yeah, the crystal that is, uh... But, like, you know, it brings back, like, different parts of yourself. It, what's it called, the crystal? It's called the, um... Remember. It's kind of... I, I call it kind of, like, a reflection crystal. Is that what it is? Is it the reflection crystal? Yeah, because it kind of reflects you. Yeah. And, okay. yeah, that was cool. So... We've he, seen it before. He brings, in season one, Vampire Diaries... A lark. Yeah, like early season lark, which again I want to mention the CGI was bad. Like the de aging they must have used for that was bad. But I I keep reminding I have to remind myself that it is a CW show that has a, a very limited budget, and that's why it didn't look that good. But for a CW show, it looked really good. But I just didn't think that the I, I always I always like keep thinking it because I've seen so much better CGI de aging. That I keep thinking, oh my god, that, that looks bad, but I have to remember to myself that's usually in movies that it looks so good, and it makes sense that the CW show wouldn't have that good of a budget. But for what they had, well, it was pretty decent, but it didn't look the best. <laughs> that's for sure, but... It, I... To see him without a beard, that was interesting. I was like, oh my god, it's like, back in season one, we, you know, he didn't have a he, beard and stuff. Like, he knows... Like, he... The Zach knows... I've seen him, yeah. Knows who he is, yeah, he knows of a lot, but, like, he's not... I'm not... So he's knowledgeable, not, that's not, the thing. I, I know so much. He's not really in the universe of I, no. all three shows as As, as you, yes. Annie's, I am. Annie's like into it, into it. Like knows every, like down to like, the, down to the smallest speck of detail about all the shows. Me, I only know everything. Like I, I only know some, some things. And of course I know about Lark that he's a vampire hunter. I know about all that. And I know some things, but Annie's like my guide when I have questions and stuff. I do have to come around to like keep continuing watching the show. It's just, it's so hard when I have a whole bunch of other shows I have to do what you hear on the channel or I don't really have that much free time. But when I do get the, some free time, I will like binge the show as much as I can. So I did like how like he was kind of like, it was a he wanted to talk to his younger self. And, but now I thought that was a terrible idea because his younger self said he was like, he's like, oh, your daughter's a vampire. I would have, I would have killed her or whatever. I said, damn, I said, you were ruthless. I was like, but I do remember how ruthless he was. I, I, I believe because it. He probably would because he, he hated him. He wouldn't have came back with Mr. Falls if it wasn't for Damon. He wanted to kill Damon because Damon killed his wife. Yeah, so I do believe and, that, yeah. And you vampire fans, if you know that Alark's wife Atlanta's birth mother. Yeah, I yeah, I know you told me that. But I just I what I like though is that I did like how he was kinda like talking to his younger self and like he was kinda reflecting probably I think he was reflecting on the fact that I, I don't really know why. Probably like, oh I can't get any much I can't get much worse than who I used to be and I'm gonna use me talking to and the using the reflection crystal to talk to my younger self to pretty much motivate me into being like to know that things aren't that bad and things when can always get better because he was at peak like worse he he didn't see the good in people he said he would kill his daughter back in that you know back in the time when he you know, was very serious vampire hunter and he thought vampire all vampires were just bad so that's why i'm thinking that like i do when like he how he's kind of using his his worst self as kind of like okay like things aren't that bad and i can always get better hence the whole shaving his beard at the end when he said like an old friend I thought it meant Damon. I That's thought it meant Damon because he brought out a whole big frame bottle of bourbon. And Annie told me that, that Damon's big on that. So, so I thought I thought that would have been cool. That would have been a cool way. That would have been a surprise for the fans. Like, I mean, that would have been cool. And not gonna lie, like, I, I really, I, it was really cool seeing people that I've seen before. You know, that was really cool. Especially for the fans, I like I saw a whole bunch of like fan pages that people were really excited about this episode to see everybody back and all that. So I was like, I thought that was really cool, um, and yeah, I'm just I'm excited. I always thought they brought back Marcel because yeah. Hope doesn't really know him. Like she knows he's her brother, but she doesn't really know him. Yeah, because her family like like her Klaus died when she was young. Haley died when she was young. And you were telling me that a lot of them, a lot of them died. Because I had I had a question for Annie, like, how did a lot of the other ones die? Again, I don't, I didn't watch the show, so I'm curious to know how they did. I have, I didn't tell them, I don't remember, I, I'm picking up where I lost, I was up on season, season three. How many seasons were there? Four or five, but I rewatched season three again, because I left off and then I can't remember what happened. Yeah, so she, I don't think you didn't finish, right? I did finish, but I'm rewatching. You're rewatching it again. Yeah, because I'm starting season three because I 
remember what happened. I finished season one and two. I'm trying to remember what happened in season three. I did like in this episode. I did like how we kind of are seeing... They're kind of... They're kind of... um filling in Ben on what's going on and that there is a key that Jen hid inside him. And to find out through Jen that that uh, Ben is like bad, essentially, that Ben was willing to do anything and everything to bring back his, his loved one and also get the curse off of him, which I don't think his father will do. I, and I don't think his father will bring back his old flame. I don't think I so. I really, if they bring back his old flame, I'm going to be I, I, so I, freaking... Mad. I would be I, because they did set up. Jen. I like him. I like him with Jed, and, and that, yeah. I would be really mad if he just started dating Jed just to get his ex boyfriend ever well, back. Th- th- I talked. I talked to you about this. It would. It would be a waste of. It, it would be a waste of all the things that they've been trying to do, setting up the connection between Ben and Jed. It would be all a wait. That what was it for? Like, what was it for nothing. to do this plot line with Jed? Nothing. And, nothing. And, and, you know what I mean, liking Ben, and then he just forgets for about, like, Jed entirely, and then it wants was... to go resurrect to his old boyfriend. Exactly. I don't understand that it at all. For nothing. Especially because, why does he think that if he lets his father out, he will just grant that wish for him? I don't buy it. I think he will say no, and he'll end up killing Ben. You think, like, he's the one that put the spell on Ben to be tortured. He's exactly. the one that would... Ben would, did die. Yeah. And, and he, he became a monster and he came back. It, it, exactly. So yeah. I don't think he... Ben is delusional to think that his father would take the spell off and bring back his old boyfriend. I don't, I don't think, think so. His dad would just, I really don't think so. And I was I was dad, shocked. I was like, that's kind of... His dad's, like, one of the worst gods there is. And he literally said that said to Aurora, don't do that. Like, don't bring back my my father. He's the worst. So that whole, him, like, lying to Aurora, saying, like, I guess he would bring his father back. I guess that, like, I I just didn't didn't understand it because he knew that his father was the only one to grant the wish. Because he was trying to keep that hidden from them because he didn't want Aurora to do it. But he ends up wanting to do it anyways. I forget, how was the key, how did he have the key inside of him? Remember, uh... Jen put it inside when he was like knocked out on the rock when he got like killed and he like started healing back up again and like and she knew that like um, again that she knew about the monster that was terrorizing earth which is Malivore and knew that Malivore would want to come after him because he's a monster attractor so she knew if I put the key in him and then you know Malivore you know you know I I always forget the word consumes there consumes Ben that means the key would be gone along with Ben and he kind of wanted revenge not like uh, not just on Jen but kind of but I, it, it seems like, yeah, on Jen in a way, because he said, like, he was really mad on Jen. That's why he wanted to help them, you know, grant grant their wishes, but also grant his wish about bringing, you know, his boyfriend back. But I don't think this dude, his father, is going to bring back, his boyfriend bring back, even do Lizzie and Aurora's wishes to bring them, you know, letting him free. I think he is a monster, and I don't think he'll do it. So I just don't understand why Ben, if anybody... That that should be delusional. It's it's the other two, not him, because he's actually a, has been tortured by his father before. So I don't know why he thinks that he will make an exception this one time and and do something nice for Ben. It just storyline wise, it doesn't make any sense. Especially because he literally told Aurora and them don't do it, and then he ended up being like, oh, he was he ended up being a because they they thought that like. She, like Aurora was gonna do it because because Aurora thought that they could bring back one of the other gods, but then that's when Ben says, "No, my dad's the only one that can do it," and it's like, okay, I was like, then why were you wanting to be a part of their plan before? And, and you know what I mean when you when you thought it was somebody else, if you didn't know that, if you only if you know that your father's the only one that's able to do it, and you just said previously that you don't want them resurrecting your father. See what I'm saying? Like, how did he knew that his father's the only one to do it, but he knows how, how much of a monster his father is. But why did he lie when he said, oh, I want to I be a part of your guys' plan and the resurrecting the time god when he knew that the time god couldn't do it? So that's why I was like, that kind of doesn't make any sense to me that you said, okay, I want to be a part of you guys' plan so I can get my wish. But then, and, and then, then again, you know how much of a monster your father is and you're saying Aurora don't do it. And then, and then you tell Aurora that... That he's the only one that can make the spell, and then you're you're betraying Aurora, smacking Aurora outside the head, with the, and it was funny because his hand was cut off. And I told Annie how funny that was. It's impressive that he had an open palm, an open palm, and his hand was and his hand was cut off trying to get out of the chains that Aurora had him in and Lizzie had him in. 
and then grab and uses his, grabs his hand with his other hand and smacks him around the back of the head. I was like, damn, that's a, like, it's one impressive he's able to do that because the amount of force to do that, it's like hard to do that. So I was like, that's kind of funny. Uh, in a way, it's like, really, it's a goofy way to do it. And then he is like taking all the things and he's going to set his father free. Exactly, yeah. Even though he knows what his father is capable of. Yeah. And and he and again, and he's really delusional because he thinks his father, him laying out his father is what's going to give him his wishes to get free of being the monster attractor and 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 also bring back his boyfriend. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think his father is literally A going to kill Ben and he's just going to kill everybody. I think he's not going to give Ben his wishes. I don't think so. I don't think and that. I think this is going back to the crappy writing that Legacies likes to do sometimes because it made no sense what they were doing with Ben's character in this episode. He literally has been against his father all this time and the, fi the, 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 and the chance he finally finds out. I'm shocked he even knew his father was even locked away. That's what I didn't know he knew. He knew that everybody was locked away. I don't know how he knew that because like he was consumed all those years and how did he know his father was locked up? Unless I know, I, I no, I do know they they because remember Jen told him when he was at the Rock. I think she trapped them. I think she told him that. I think I can't quite remember. But I just hated how they kind of flip flopped Ben. If Ben, you know what I mean? Because it's like it doesn't make sense that they said, "Oh, we have to which one yeah. to unlock," and he's like, "You didn't think this through." You know what I mean? Like, oh, like if you let me out, I I, I want to get you know I want to get mine too. I want to I want to get my wish too. And any and like, but if you knew that your father is some, which someone you hate is the only one that cast the wish, why would you want to let him free when you don't know if he's going to do it because he's the one that tortured you all those years? It's so it's so dumb to me. It's weird. But, it's but crazy. I just I don't understand it. But Lizzie going back was cool too, which I'll let you talk about that. That was cute. I think she's like Jen told me to come back home. If she at first she has a bad idea, and then she like. I feel like she, like, feels something for a lark when she sees him. Well, yeah. She... So she, like, hugs him and MG, and he's like, she's like, I did something bad, and then they're just, like, there to help her. But I'm so mad he shaved. It makes me mad. Yeah, I'm shocked because Annie hated the beard when it came up. She hated it. And I'm just shocked that, you know, I guess you got so used to it, right? You just got used to it. Because yeah. older, which I like. Wait, like... You, I thought you, because you hated it at first. Did you, was it just that you, we've seen it so long that you just I got mean, used to it? I guess it just, like, grew on me. So, oh, like... Oh. I, well, I, what I liked, though... It's just, like, I mean... Is... Because all throughout... All, throughout... Um, throughout... All eight seasons of Mary Menard, she didn't have one. Yeah. He had... I don't... I can't remember if he was in a couple... He was, I think he's in a couple episodes of... There was only, I can't remember. I, I, yeah. Well, I think it. it was just supposed to show how stressed he was when he was going through. Remember, but he was going through drinking I remember, again. And... I remember when they had an episode where um, the Southwood School is in Southwood, is Michelson School. Yeah. And yeah, and that, yeah, Lizzie, weird little... Lizzie and Josie go to you know Mystic Falls and. She Josie, and Josie's the popular one. Josie, Lizzie's not. Yeah, Josie's dating a Connor kid. Yeah. Um. He had the beard. Then. Yeah, because yeah. he and he was like you know had like a, a and he had a gut too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was like no. But um, I liked how kind of like Lizzie feels responsible of Aurora getting captured because Lizzie was able to like convince Aurora look don't go through with this plan because Ben you know what I mean thinking she was like she's thinking she was with Ben but she's like I'm not with Ben. And and knowing that you know she was gonna unlock the lock the father's casing because she found out then that yeah. the father's the only one that could do the wish and then that's when Jen pretty much said the, my my dad's the only one to do the wish apparently you can't you can't do that you can't mm -hmm. unleash my father and and Lizzie kind of convinced Aurora not to do it but then she got captured by Ben and Ben took all the coffins. Also, back to Lord for a second. In the comments, let us know if you think him having a beer no beer makes him look a lot younger. It does. I don't like it. He looks like the way he looked like him when we... First know. Yeah. I don't know. I can't remember if he had, like... I think he, yeah, he was just clean shaven when, when we started the series. I can't remember. It's like... Yeah. It feels such a long time ago when we got the first season of Legacies. It feels like such a long time ago. It's just crazy to me how time just flies. Yeah. But, like, I... But also, I'm just saying, not about, like, a lark, but yeah. about the actor. Oh, you mean, like... I, I don't know his actual name. It's like... Matt Davis. Matt Davis. Okay. Do you know what I'm going to say? No. What are you, you going to say? In like a month. 
It's his birthday. Oh, okay. Same day as his. Oh, really? May, yeah. Oh, that's that's sick. All right. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Damn, I'm gonna have to give him a shout out. You know what I mean? All right, actually, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to, you know, say happy birthday. And well, I don't know what, what video will I be doing on my birthday. I don't know. You're I don't making know. Maybe, I'll have to, maybe we'll make a video and say, oh, happy birthday, bro. Maybe we'll do something like that. Maybe we'll put it up, and you guys can all like tag him in it and stuff, yeah. or share it to him. Yeah. Um, but also that moment, with, like you said earlier, with Lizzie coming back and she's about to, like, walk out, she, she said to Jen, maybe this is a bad idea, and Jen's like, no, like, this is somewhere you need to be, especially yeah. if, the, if the world's gonna end. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you should be here with your family. family. And that was cute where, again, you know, MG, where, uh, you, know, you know, Rick is like, uh, says, MG, help me over, and, you know, yeah. and they, hugs, they both hug Lizzie. Because, I mean, think about all the stuff that's happened. All the stuff Lizzie's been through. Of yeah. almost losing her father, losing Josie, her becoming a vampire, and then her feeling like, you know, when she remember, like, she felt like when she wanted to turn back on Aurora's plan, but they already made the pact yeah. that if she betrays Aurora, she'll die. And it kind of, she, in a way, feels like, you know what I mean? That's why she well, she wanted to go back, but she felt yeah. like she couldn't because she would be betraying Aurora. Aurora. And essentially, I don't know how this is going to end because Aurora might still want to go through with it when she wakes up. Yeah. And if she does that and and hope, and, and Lizzie's trying to help the t all the school try to stop you know, Ben and stop, you know, uh, his, dad. his dad, Aurora might feel betrayed and then Lizzie might die. Lizzie might be one of the people that die in that, in know. that, in that prediction that, you know, Wade and, yeah, know. and that, and that one dude had. So who knows? It's just very interesting to me to see what's going to happen going forward because a big fight's going to happen in next week, which is, no, not in next week. It's April, it's what, April 28th? Yeah, so like... Tennis. Which is crazy. So I'm excited to see that episode and see what goes down. Oh, so there's no man in the illustrations is well, you're celebrating our niece's birthday. Yeah, uh, our niece Alexis's birthday was yesterday. Um, our party that's why was. we, yeah, it literally was around the time the episode was airing, so that's why we couldn't do it. Um, and I'm just happy we we're able to get to you guys as always. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm super, I'm always happy if I can get it to you guys the week of when something releases. It always makes me happy because that's literally what I, what I said here on the channel. As long as I can get it to you guys the next day or the week of when something releases, I'm super happy. Um, it won't like be like this always, guys. Where it's like it's always delayed. I, I I'm I'm trying to make sure I can get it to you guys on the nights of when they air. Um, but just a lot I, of things, crazy things have been happening I'll with watch, her working, and then yeah. I'm gonna be working soon, hopefully. I work so a week and yeah. I'm super tired from work, and then I, even when I'm off work, I'm super tired. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm, but as long as I get I get it to you guys or we get it yeah. to you guys, I'm 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 super happy. But I, I forget what else what, what else were we gonna say about uh, the episode. Oh, that one moment where, like, uh, you know, when um, Hope's, you know, you know, family members, like, kind of, like, put her, like, lower yeah. the bad Hope's guards down, that was a cool fight between Good Hope and Bad Hope. And I thought when, you know, Good Hope staked her with the red oak. Yeah, she I would have died. would have just died. But when but she, when she woke up. Bad Hope was outside the cell, and, and Good Hope was inside the and cell. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like this. I hope we don't keep seeing Bad Hope and her wanting to get back in and take over Hope again. I don't want to see that. It reminds me too much of like Bad Stella. Josie. Remember Bad Josie? Yeah, Where we would just... always see Bad Josie oh, in like a time for a time period. I don't want to see that. Talk about it. Don't want because to talk about it, it. we've never seen that before. At least I'm not sure in Vampire Diaries. That's never been a thing. Uh, Andrew, Has that ever been a thing where it's like you see the other person like that? I have to go back and watch it. I as war I know I I've never seen that before from what I've seen and not gonna lie that's a very big stupid plot if that's what they're gonna keep doing is that bad hope is gonna like eat at good hope again trying to like so she could take over again and I don't want it to be a thing where like oh the bad version of like the bad you know when you turn off your like uh, humanity that just oh, yeah. takes over out of nowhere yeah I don't want that to be a thing I don't know it if that's did, been a thing has that been did, a thing it happened but it's happened before because with Stefan and his doppelganger Silas I know but that's that's isn't that different isn't doppelgangers actually like an actual person this is an actual person it's just in their head doppelgangers were an actual thing weren't they yeah, yeah. so she's not an but actual I mean, thing I like mean, same with bad josie she wasn't an actual thing it was I just mean, in her head I mean, like, it's like so i just i don't want to see that like forever that. i just hope i kind of hoped when she got staked it would just be done with let me know how you guys feel about that down in the comments below i think that's kind of stupid and let me know what you guys think about the whole Ben kind of, or his character kind of flip-flopping, the hating his dad, the not liking his dad, and thinking his dad is going to release, is going to, like, you know, let him be free of being the monster attractor and also bringing back Ben's old boyfriend. 
Do you guys think, and especially after he's the one that's been torturing Ben for all those years, do you think he's going to do it? I don't think so. And it just it makes no sense why Ben said previously, oh, let me be a part of your plan. I think it's going to work. Knowing that they don't, like, knowing that he doesn't want his father to be released, knowing and, and, and him making it seem like he didn't know that his father was the only one able to do it. And so the moment where he's like, oh, my dad's the only one able to do it. And, like, and that means you knew initially when you went a part of their plan to get your old boyfriend back that you would be having to release your father. That makes no sense. And it's, it makes my brain hurt. But yeah, other than that, it was a pretty damn good episode. I'm happy uh, that uh, you, that that people that have been a part of Vampire Diaries and have been a part of Originals, like this was a. I'm happy you guys got this episode because it's really cool that you guys saw some of your old characters come back. So you know, congratulations, guys. I'm happy you guys got this. I always love when you know the writers of a show give us some fan service. Like I love it, especially that fits very keen into like the the, the storyline. I feel like this was a perfect way to bring Hope's humanity back on. I feel like, like if we would have done Landon, I would have got pissed. Like, I <laughs> we didn't get Landon in this episode either. We didn't get uh, Necromancer. We don't know where they get where did they get taken off to because they got tranked in last you week's episode. Stop hitting me. I was, I'm like lightly tapping you. And I'm excited because where did Landon and and uh, Necro happy. go? I'm happy. Who's happy they didn't see Landon. No, I'm happy because it's like no. I want to know where they where they go. Some fun things are happening right now. I we like, don't know where they went. I like how shows me my characters because um, obviously, if any of you watched Star Girl mm -hmm. last season, an episode really hit me hard. Star Girl season one. Two. What are you talking about? Well, I don't want to talk about that because there could be some people in here that maybe haven't watched Stargirl yet. Shout out to Stargirl. You guys can catch up before the new season starts because we will be doing episode by episode you know, spoiler reviews for that. So you guys can catch up too. There's a lot of great shows on here. Um, you know, on the CW, there's Stargirl. That's another. That's a great show. There's All American, which is a great show. All American Flash. Homecoming is getting good. No, <laughs> never say that again. Flash is not a good show. Flash got trash after season three. I'm sorry if you guys still watch the Flash and you guys still like it. That's cool. I just hate Flash. I despise that show. It's not good anymore. And yeah, but shout out to Grant Gustin. I hope he does get yeah. casted in the in, in 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 the DCEU live action movies because I do. I would love that, and I would support him if he got transferred from show to movie. Which again, I heard that they're only getting one more season of the Flash. So season nine is the last season of the Flash, which I'm super happy about. This show's awesome. Wait, is it is it ten? It's nine. Are we in nine now? Nine. Are we in nine now? No, we're still eight. eight? Be, yeah, nine's the last season. Nine, so when it comes back, I might be, nine. I might be, I might be making, I, I, I might be making a video talking about the Flash, but as as an excitement video that this show is ending because I'm it, it deserved to end. It's not good. Again, I'm, but good for you guys if you guys do like the show. That's great. But I just hate the show. Um, but yeah, the, the, those are the only really good shows that are really on the CW. Still, is All American Homecoming, which is getting there. It's becoming a good, great show. I am enjoying it. Um. All American. You know, All American and Star Girl. Those are only like those are like the really great shows, along with of course Legacies. Legacies has its moments where it gets bad. Same with Riverdale. Same but uh, overall, Lois great Superman. shows still. Superman like I, Lois is Super, good. oh, thank you because I was forgot about that. Superman and Lois is a gem. I love that show. We're on, we're on season two and and we're not done yet, but we're almost done with season two and Can it's I great. Can I just say? I, I can't wait for I can't wait for season. I don't know Star his Girl. name and I don't know his name in real life, but I do know his name in the show. Jonathan, I love him. I also love Tyler Hoechlin, who played. Oh, okay, okay. Amara. I forget his name too. I think Tyler and Tyler Hoechlin, who plays Clark Kent and Superman. I yeah. like him too. But honestly, those are like the shows that are like the real, true heroes of the mm -hmm. CW. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm just super excited for April 28th. It's gonna be a crazy episode. Yeah, I'm excited. Crazy. That's, oh man. That's two days after our mom's birthday. Yeah, so we got, we got, that episode's gonna be crazy. I wanna know what your predictions are. Who do you think is gonna die? Because I already know Caleb's gonna die because she was, Clea was keeping some hidden No! From but I do, I wanna know, do you guys think Ethan or do you guys think MG are dying? Because you please know one of them are dying. Please let it be MG. That would be a holy crap I moment. But MG. I feel like it would hit me harder maybe if it was Ethan. Because Ethan's gotten the short end of the stick the entire time. I like, mean, he's been getting picked, I like, mean, getting yelled at, I, and I feel like he feels like it would really hit him I, hard. I feel like it would hit us hard you, you, either way, because... That is true. MG, if you guys, that would no, be hard. No, we're not, we're not for me, but... Uh, but Ethan would kill me, I think. I'd be, oh, dang. Ethan, he, I feel like, like Ethan's never felt like he's belonged. Well, no, it's not just that, it's not just, like, it being Ethan, it's just that we grew up watching Leo oh, yeah. Howard. So yeah, Leo Howard's the ghost. So no it doubt. Hurt. It would hurt. It would just hurt me really hard, because I feel like that character is just been getting nothing but disrespect. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it really hurts me because he's always, always ever wanted to do is feel, feel like he was a part of a team and, and feel like he's belonged. And, and I, I, feel like every, I feel like everybody should understand that in the school. They, they didn't belong until they got to the Salvatore school. You know what I mean? It's somewhere that they, they that they did belong, somewhere that they could make a family. And I feel like they kind of been treating Ethan like shit, and it pisses me off. Yeah. Um, and that would just kill me if the, if he ends up dying. And I think that's what's gonna happen because the way he fa- the face he gave MG, he's like, I think he is gonna make that sacrifice. Mm-hmm. I think he will. And it's gonna it's gonna. Yeah. Oh, bro, I don't want to talk about it. But um, yeah, guys, that was a video again for Legacies Season Four Episode Fifteen called. All, what was it called? You can always things that may be lo- that can things be, things that can everything be, that can be, be lost may be also be found. found. Uh, so yeah, guys, that was the video. Uh, again, let us know down in the comments below uh, what you what your theories are for next week's episode. Let us know how you guys like this video. Again, here if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, put those notifications, like this video. We would love to have you guys here, a part of the fam, a part of the channel. Literally, we're almost yet again to 500 subscribers, so I would really appreciate it, guys. Yet again, if you if you've come across our videos before, just subscribe to the channel, put those notifications, like this video. It really, really would help grow this channel. I'm really trying to get. To 500, we are super, super close, and at? that is my goal. Right now, we're at like 488. We were at 489, but someone, someone must have jumped ship, ship, which kind of makes me sad because I'm. I, I feel like the closer we get, more people leave. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I would just really appreciate it yet again, guys. If you guys help me achieve my dreams, I'm really trying to get to 500. Not only to that is my goal, but also for. Uh, the community tab, which I can be able, I can uh, access, and, you know, and communicate with you guys a lot more, and we can do a lot more cooler things on the community tab, and it just hit, it would just reach more people to come join here, join on the fam here, along with you guys. I'm, I'm really trying to hit a thousand by the end of this year, um, and it would be cool if also we hit a uh, five hundred before my birthday, because my birthday is May eighth, um, and I would just really yeah, yet again appreciate it. So birthday. if you guys haven't subscribed yet. I would really appreciate it, guys, if it was to be like an earth, early birthday present, if we could get the 500 before my birthday. That'd be amazing. Because um, I'm really trying to hit that that goal of mine, and I'm really trying to hit to 1,000, and I know we can do it. Guys, as I've said before, this channel is about love, positivity, and motivation, and striving for your dreams. And I'm really trying to do that, guys, and I would really appreciate it yet again if you come subscribe to the fam here. Um, and let me know down in the comments below if you're new to the channel and you subscribe because, you know, I'll I'll shout you out. I'll welcome you to the family. Um, but, guys, that was a video. Uh, we hope everybody has a great day, a safe day, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Mm-hmm.